Achcha! Didn't see the knee coming, did ya? Achcha! There goes BTS. It's done for the day. <laughs> so today we're gonna be trying something unique. We're gonna shoot an entire video that's only either in first person view or third person view. And the two views are battling each other. Rather than having to figure out cool camera angles and all that kind of stuff, the camera is always tied to a character doing an action, which makes things a little interesting. I don't know, it should be pretty cool. We got yeah. some parkour guys from Tempest, free running. We have some guys from Action Factory, and we have some friends that we play airsoft with. We got Richard Ryan from Rated RR, and we have D uh, from Node. Two of the most tactical guys we know. But this is actually a video we've been wanting to do for a really long time. If you guys uh, probably have seen uh, one of our old videos called The Mini Boss. Uh, that was a video we shot entirely in third person and it was inspired directly from Splinter Cells. Time to begin because it's almost 11 o'clock and we gotta be out here by sundown. See ya. <laughs> this is a munitions plant and these mercenaries have been hired for security to make sure that these deals go off without a hitch. They're over here, they're somewhat relaxed, they have a motion detector up at the terminal. There's nothing really to worry about, there hasn't been any action for a while. So they're standing around, guy's cleaning his gun, another guy's looking at his gear making sure it's working. Don't worry about delivery too much. We're gonna be redubbing all the stuff. We're shooting it all on GoPros. All the audio will be redone later in post. In the video, it's gonna look like I'm going like this with the gun, like this, bringing it up and aiming. In reality, I'm just gonna be kind of aiming it off to the side. I'm gonna turn my head, and I'm gonna let the camera naturally line up with the sight. That way, I'll get that like quick snappy motion for like pulling the gun up. But in reality, I'm just gonna be moving my head over like two inches to meet the gun instead. And I don't know if it's like, if I'm like this and you swing at me once, mm -hmm. and I like go bam, oh, and then you swing at me again, and then you know that's when I do one of these deals, or whatever it might be, you know, you can be like, wham, boom. That'd be pretty sweet. I, <laughs> he, be can pretty get, sweet. he can get hit a couple times, right? Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, I think the whole idea is that, um, at least for the first swing, like you know, the guy has a knife or something like that, and he hits the guy either in the arm or in the knee, or in the ribs, and we just hear crunch and it gets a pretty solid hit. Because the, after that happens, the spy is like, he's, he's stumbling. Okay. Yeah. And action! It's all right, I need, Sam needs to look at D more. So I'm gonna go tell him to do that. Sam, when you're running, look at D specifically, and then back forwards. He's moving too far out this way. Doesn't matter, you gotta look all in your left and look back. You gotta break your point of line, point of view from okay. forwards. You I'll gotta break it down. Right the What's up guys, I'm D, uh, I work for Node. I'm helping out uh, Sam and Nico on this shoot. I'm um, doubling as mercenary number two and tactical overseer for the video. I'm just making sure everyone is uh, dressed properly, make sure they have the right gear, right magazines, right guns. Uh, a lot of things have been filmed here. Uh, for one, Inception was filmed here, which is pretty sweet. This is also the same warehouse that they shot episode two of Ultimate Gamer, WCG Ultimate Gamer, which I was on. They blindfolded us when they drove us here, so I didn't know where it was, but now I know where it is. Lesson. He wanted to cross the bridge. That's all that's yeah. what he said. No one crosses the bridge right, without so passing by the trolls. Jake, I thought you put some. <laughs> this guy. are the guys who come in and get awesome aerial shots. How's it going? I'm Taylor and this is John. And we are a company called CopterX based out of Los Angeles. And we basically fly the DJI S800. Basically this is on a, it's a three axis gimbal here. It's all brushless motors. Basically this is the S800 for a little bit more professional applications. And then they have the, the new DJI Phantom with the GoPro Zenmuse Hero 3D coming out, which is gonna be sold on dronefly.com. So basically, John is the pilot. Two-man operator. Two-man operator. Over here, I got my little screen here. This way I can see what's going on from the ground when the helicopter's up in the air. A lot of you have seen the new movie gimbal coming out from uh, Freefly, and this is basically the same technology that's been developed over a year ago, year and a half ago, two years ago. Probably even longer. <laughs> Turn this way. Look at this beautiful sunset on the LA skyline. Corridor digital. Whew, this is what dreams are made of, man. This is the YouTube dream right here. 
I'm living it. I'm living it. It's a little roof game. Alright, hey, Brent. Uh, guys. <laughs> nice, nice move. Alright, just getting a quick intro shot with you guys. We're going to go set up the drone and we're losing light. Three, two, one, action. Okay, so when you touch this thing, you know what you're doing? Something more. This thing's gonna come down, right? You just sneak up from behind it. Obviously, keep your hands away from the props. But here, grab these two. You don't want me to do landing here? You can do gears. that, you can do that. And just know, it, when we, as what? soon as it comes into your hand, make sure you, you grab it. Like, no matter what, you can overpower the thing. Like something like that. You want that or what? Well, it's okay. This up a bit more. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it looks good. All right, guys, here we go. Get ready and action. I didn't even, I couldn't even really see the catch, you know? In this yes, area, we want you to kind of wait until it's going up into the air so that we have like more activity on the road back here. All right, so. Cool. 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 It, it, so it'll be gracious. Yeah. Lift up real smooth. So we're basically pulling out and revealing more spies, then goes letters. <laughs> yep. Oh, I guess at the very end, once you're high up, you can pan up to the city. And it'll be like LA. Okay, and then... Just run over here and hide. Sweet. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right. And three, two, one, action. Guys, keep moving. Sam, get over here. Sam, get over here. Sam, over here. Sam, Sam, do it. Um, my name is Rin the Reaper. I make cooking videos and do makeup tutorials and uh, you should check it out sometime. Oh, you're trying to plug me? Yes. Oh, wow. I guess I should quit being a jerk about it and be like, hey guys, I'm Richard Ryan from Rated RR. Thanks for checking out the behind the scenes of the Corridor Digital Splinter Cell Blacklist Park Hour Hour. Park hour, hour. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse over here with the the bloody nose. Is that from is that from snorting all the asbestos? <laughs> Dude, that's what happens. I just I needed it up, so I, I laid out some pixie stick, you know, a little sugar, and then no. <laughs> it's from the asbestos, let's be honest. <laughs> Probably gonna die by the end of tonight. <laughs> Might be anthrax on the way, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. This is asbestos out asbestos. <laughs> you can quote that. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> yeah, how does he up there? Yeah, good, bro. <laughs> Try to always stay uh, on, the, on the level with him, so. As he starts climbing up and you're on this side, start rising up with him. Okay. And then, if you can, swivel around. That was a really good take. That was it. There's no reason to do anything else. Guys, that's it! Yeah. Yeah. Kick the tires and light yeah. the fires, Big Daddy! Woo! Oh, hello. You caught us cleaning up set because we're finally done. We expect it to be done at 7.30 and it's currently 11.40. Yeah, so... I don't know, a couple extra hours, but everyone seemed to enjoy it because we got some cool pizzas and... You know, cool pizzas. People chill that while they're warm. <laughs> they arrived warm. Right. Anyways. Nice work, Sam. Likewise. Alright, camera time. Ha <laughs> ha.